So now for the second part of this program. We've got 46 lines of it. So again, to start a new program space, I'm going to go to, here's that inch program we entered earlier. It's now doesn't have the, the end uh, label in there. It actually has the label we gave it. So double decimal, just to show that that has created a new space, an empty space. So let's go to our program and enter in a label of plus. So again, that's program function, label, and then P L U S, enter. So that's line one. Line two, set flag, go to the flags, set flag zero one. This is going to be a new global label within this program. So we're going to have a minus that can be called by other programs. So um, let's go to program function, label, and then M I N U S minus. Is flag clear? So we look for flag clear and enter in the flag we want, zero, 01. Set flag, again, that's going to be under the flag menus. Set flag, zero, 02. Label, program function, label, F dash D, F dash D. Roll down. Now we're going to store into register 07. We're going to roll down. We're going to store to register 8. We're going to roll down. We're going to store into register 9. Roll down. This IP is the integer portion. It's going to be under the same menu, the convert menu, as the fractional portion was. So again, if we had a number like 2.3, the integer portion would be 2. So we take the integer portion. Just to match up, I'm on line 14, line 14 in the program here. I'm going to store 06, take the last x, take the fractional portion. It's under the convert menu, fraction. 1 times 10 to the second, multiply, integer portion, last x, fractional portion, 1 times 10 to the second, times, integer portion, moving back up here to line 26, last x, the fractional portion, 1 times 10 to the second, times 1e negative 8, plus, divide, plus 12, divide, and recall 06, plus, recall 09, recall 08, recall 07, roll up. Now there's a couple of ways to do this. What we're really doing is we're getting the value t in the stack. We only have a roll down in the menu. But here, if I go to the catalog, so shift, catalog, and then all the functions, this gives me pretty much everything. So for example, earlier here, we had the, the clear flag. I could have gone here and done it. Um, Here's all those flag clear, flag set. I could have done it here, the fractional portion. So if I can't find anything on the keyboard, going to the catalog is a good place to look for it. So let's go down to the R's. And see if we've got that roll up. There it is. So I could do the roll up, and that just rolls the stack up. Okay, line 42, that's going to be under flags, FSC, we're going to do 01, plus, flags again, FSC, 02, 
That is just checking to see if the flag 2 is set and then clears it once it, it executes the next line. Minus and end, which we've already got entered in the program. So here's the second part of that program that's been entered. So hopefully this is just sort of a, a quick um, overview of how one enters a program and where to find some of those functions. And again, that catalog menu can be very helpful if you can't find it on uh, any of the, the functions in base, convert, flags, etc.